Now, your weather alert forecast. On 3 News Now, Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Zeppelin with this latest weather update for 3newsnow.com. The combination of the wind and our cold temperatures due to that Arctic front that blew through, that is going to make for a dangerously cold morning for us. Now, mainly because the wind and we are looking at what it's going to feel like out there anywhere between 15 to 30 degrees below zero. So frostbite can occur very quickly. You want to make sure that you keep yourself layered up and you don't really spend a whole lot of time outdoors, especially during the early morning hours. The temperatures will only continue to drop. Snow is gone, even though we'll have some sunshine around for your Thursday. Really not going to help to warm us up at all. We are looking at single digits, sub zero readings early in the morning. This is when it will be the coldest as you're heading to work and school. As we head into the afternoon, the winds will begin to back off a little bit, but still the cold air stays in and we're looking at single digits and teens for those afternoon high temperatures. So what it's actually going to be like as we get into the early morning hours with wind chills that will be down here in the metro area running anywhere between about 20 to 25 degrees below zero. That pretty much sticks with us. It does improve a little bit into the afternoon, but still really cold as the wind does begin to back off. Now the next 72 hours, we talk about a serious recovery here. Go from 14 down to seven, so a cold start on Valentine's, but then a strong south wind, and I'm talking 20, 30, 40 mile per hour south wind, will be blowing in, and that's gonna help to warm us up to 35, even warmer going into the weekend, Saturday 46, and Sunday the same thing, almost close to 50. That's because we're gonna have pretty breezy conditions. On Monday, there is still a chance we could see a little mix coming in, still monitoring the overall timing and the impacts on this storm system. Right now we're looking at 40s before the front moves in and then the temperatures will fall and it'll cool off a little bit more towards the early part of next week.